Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This episode, we'll talk about the virtue of hope. Like fortitude, there's not much confusion surrounding hope. Most of the definitions of this word are very closely connected. It just means the sense that what you want or need can be attained somehow. However, if we're talking about hope as a virtue, this means something a little more. Hope is the theological virtue by which we desire the kingdom of heaven and eternal life as our happiness, placing our trust in Christ's promises and relying not on our own strength, but on the help of the grace of the Holy Spirit. Catechism of the Catholic Church, first half of paragraph 1817. The virtue of hope, therefore, is a couple of main things. The wish for the perfect kingdom and eternal life, and trust in Jesus to remain faithful and honest in the promises he's made. However, I'd like to spend a moment examining these factors just a little more closely. The wish for the kingdom of heaven and eternal life is just that. It's a desire. It means that what you really want out of life isn't a sweet car or a big house or a beautiful wife. What you want is to have everything worth having and have it forever. Not that there's anything wrong with wanting things on earth, too, but when we're talking about the virtue of hope, the desire for eternal rewards has to come first. In a way, this element is simple common sense. I mean, if somebody said to you, well, I could give you a pretty nice car for the next week, or you could wait a week, and then I'd let you have an even better car for the rest of your life, well, which one would you go for? It's perfectly legitimate to think of heaven like this. The second factor is trust in Jesus' words. Jesus said, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Matthew 6.33 If you trust Jesus, you'll be much more strongly motivated to do what he commanded. Like the desire for heaven, this one is pretty simple. If Jesus is God, then he's infinitely honest. If he's infinitely honest, he can't lie. If he can't lie, his words are true. So trust them. That's about all there is to it. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.